it's Katie here and it is now August so that means it's time for another book haul. Now I'm going to move on to review copies and the first copy I'm going to show you is Soul Storm by Kate Harrison. This is the third book in the Soul Beach trilogy and I don't know a lot what this series is about but it does say here Alice Forster tries to solve the mystery of her sister's murder in order to free her from the Soul Beach, a virtual paradise populated only by the young, the beautiful and the dead. So it does sound quite intriguing and I absolutely love the cover of this book, it's so gorgeous and I love how it carries on round to the back as well and on the back here it says beware the coming storm. Awesome. Then I got this one which is Ghost Talk by Susan Cooper and I love how the map is here and it carries on around to the back and on the back here it says Memory Mystery Murder. So it pretty much tells you what the book actually contains but I'm not sure what I'm going to think about this book because it's not the sort of book that I normally read but it does sound quite interesting and it's about someone called Little Hawk and they have to go through this test of survival and solitude into becoming a real man however people from England are moving to the lands there and there's all that going on and then Little Hawk actually meets an English boy and then he's witness to a murder or something like that so yeah but I'm not sure what I'm going to think about this but we'll soon find out when I get around to it oh my gosh guys when this literally came in the mail I freaked out I literally jumped out of my knickers oh my god but like I even ran to my nan I was like nan look what came in the mail and she didn't know what the hell I was on about she was just like okay 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 but that is Roland Eyes by Beth Reekies and she wrote The Kissing Booth which I haven't read yet but I do own and I want to I want to get around to it soon actually because I've been into those romancey sort of books and because it's summer you know summer you gotta read those romance books but I might get around to reading this soon actually because it does sound really good it does seem really good I will read you soon do not worry about that my friend don't worry my friend and then we have the second book in the Wolf's Springs Chronicles try saying that really fast it's freaking hard I tell you that and this one is called Hot Blooded and this is by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigurier Vigurier yeah who knows who knows but I have recently hauled Unleashed which is the first book and now I've got this one I might actually read the first one I've actually been looking at the first one recently I'm just been like oh, I need to read you soon I need to but I said that to all my books so but this is obviously carrying on from the first book and I will show you on the back here because it actually does show the first book and even the third book which is coming soon and that is called Savage but this one says here that Caitlin has been in Wolf Springs a short time before she was bitten by a werewolf and now she carries that creature's curse in her veins I am really looking forward to this one because it just sounds so so good and that is Time Between Us and this is by Tamara Island Stone I really like this cover because it's just so summery and it just obviously reminds you of summer and it just seems like one of those books that you need to read in the summer but this book is actually containing time travel and it's about a guy and he is called Bennett he is 17 and he can time travel but he time travels through this time where this girl is and she is called Anna and she's 16 but they weren't meant to meet because obviously you know with the time traveling thing but then they do meet and obviously stuff happens so hey looking forward to this one <gasps> guys guys this book this book oh my gosh <gasps> okay James Dashner's new book the eye of minds oh Look at this cover, it's so futuristic that it's just awesome. I absolutely love it. How gorgeous is that? Well, this book is about hackers and gamers. Oh, yeah. And I'm a gamer. I'm not a hacker. I'm not a hacker. I don't hack into anything, but like, I love gaming. But this is about Michael, and it's all about Devatnet and hacking skills, and someone's not playing by the rules and one gamer has been taking people hostage inside the net with horrific consequences. The government need Michael, 
But the risk is enormous and the line between game and reality could be blurred forever. Like forever, Trevor. But this actually doesn't come out until October, says here. So look for this in October, but I will get around to you hopefully reviewing this soon for you guys before that time. Oh yeah. And then we have this one, which is quite wintry. And this is the tragedy paper by Elizabeth Laban. 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 Yeah. Well, I'll let you decide how that's pronounced. But this is this. And after reading the synopsis of this, it actually does sound really good and intriguing and warm. Oh. It says here, every year at an exclusive private boarding school in New York, the graduating students uphold an old tradition. They must swear an oath of secrecy and leave behind a treasure for each incoming senior. When Duncan Mead inherits the room, the secrets of Tim Macbeth, he uncovers evidence of a clandestine romance and unravels the truth behind one of the biggest mysteries in the school's history. So obviously now I want to know what this mystery is. Here Without You by Tamara Webber. This is the fourth book in the Between the Lines series. I own the first book and Tamara Webber also wrote Easy, which I have read and I did really enjoy. But it's a new adult series and from what I can gather it is about Reed Alexander who is Hollywood's hottest star at the moment and it sounds like it's about all the jazz that comes with Hollywood and being famous. So looking forward to beginning this series soon. Then we've got two books by David Leviton, the first book being Boy Meets Boy, and this is about Paul who is gay, and he's been gay his whole life and he has no problem with it, he's pretty confident in it, and he's not ashamed that he likes one of his best friends, and he's not ashamed that he also likes another of his best friends, and then it just says here, heartbreak can happen to anyone, falling in love changes anything, so who knows what's going to happen in this book but I haven't read a book about someone who's gay yet so should be interesting and the other book by David Everton is Are We There Yet and brownie points straight away because it's blue we all know I love blue and this is about Danny and Elijah who could not be more different the journey sweeps them up into romance wonder and breathtaking beauty of Italy falling in love opens their eyes to the distance that's grown between them can one girl remind them what it means to be brothers? So it sounds like it's going to be one of those great journey books about friendship, the moms, and who knows what. So looking forward to those two books by David Leviton because, you know, David Leviton. And then I got Earthbound by April and Pike. I'm super excited that I received this because it's gorgeous. Look at that cover. Whoa. But this is about Tavia. And she is a sole survivor of a plane crash. And this sounds a little bit familiar to I remembered at the moment. But she's having strange visions of a boy she's never met. Her visions intensify. She wonders, was the plane crash really an accident? Or is she part of something bigger than she has imagined? So it does sound quite similar to Unremembered. But hopefully it does have a bit of a difference. But we shall soon find out. And I think I'm going to be reading this with Faye from Daydream Star 21 so looking forward to that Whoa! and this book I purchased and I purchased this not just because it was in my wish list but I'm going to blame a booktuber for this and that is Performing Book Valve also known as Danny and she raves about this book so much that I was just like you know what I'm just going to get it because just going to get it and that is yes Danny you are right the Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I now have a copy of this. And I do actually want to read this soon. I want to read this soon. It does sound really good. I've heard really, really good things about this book. And I will read you soon. I, I promise, my love. I promise. But I don't know when. But I will. I will. I will. Every Day by David Leviton. I purchased this from the Book Depository and they even sent me this awesome bookmark thing with it. Hashtag love this quote. I don't actually own this one yet. Basically the idea of this is you just put it over a quote that you like whilst you're reading and you could take a picture of it and you can like tweet it or Facebook it and share it around to your friends. I think it's a really cool way actually to do that. 
but yes I now own that one and this book has been on my wish list for quite a while and just lately I've been like actually I really want to read this because I've heard really good things about it and it does sound pretty damn awesome but it's about a guy who is a different person every day hence the title every day and it just sounds really cool and they know that they're a different person every day and I would just like to see why they're like this and I just want to know more because it just sounds so intriguing and like nothing I've read before so I'll probably get to read on this pretty soon. I'm now going to show you some swag that I won in some giveaways. So the first I'm going to show you is in this envelope here. I'm just going to pull these out. And these are actually signed. They're signed bookmarks. I mean they're quite big bookmarks but they're full of like information and they've got the book covers there but these are the In Your Dreams series books there is a third one that's being planned at the moment but these are by Amy Martin and these are the two that are out at the moment In Your Dreams and As You Wake I've yet to read As You Wake but In Your Dreams was so so good it was amazing oh yeah I've got loads of these, so I might be giving some of these away. But these are all signed, look, literally like hand signed by Amy Martin. And she's such a friendly author, she's so awesome. But you can see how many I've got, she's given me loads. So I might be doing a giveaway with some of these soon, so look out for that. And then she also sent me a cute little thank you note, which I wasn't expecting. It's so, so cute. Like, literally, look at this. like. Thank you, because I've supported her from the beginning since she wrote her first book. And she's in a little note here, I will read it out to you. It says, Hi Katie, thanks for your support of my books. I put in some more because you've been so awesome. Feel free to use them for giveaways. Best wishes, Amy Martin. Thank you so much, Amy. That's so sweet of you. And then I won Faye from Daydream of Stars giveaway some swag and I'll just show you this swag and these are all postcards pretty much. I've got Acid by Emma Pasta, Ashen by Lauren Kate, Torment, Rapture, Fallen, Itch Rocks, Wonder and this one here the Earth Breakers Shadow and this one's actually signed on the back so that's awesome. I wasn't expecting one to be signed at all and then I got this little cute bookmark here which is Can You Go A Little Faster, Can You Run, The Wolves of Willoughby, Chased by Joan Icahn. There's that one. And, and then I've got this Geek Girl little card here. Want to be our cover girl? No, because I'm not, well, yeah. And a Geek Badge, I love that badge. That is such an awesome badge. And I also got a note from Faye as well, just to say congratulations, thank you for watching my videos and entering, enjoy your swag, and let me know if it's arrived. So thank you so much Faye, it means a lot that you sent this to me, and surprised that I won a giveaway, because I don't often win giveaways. But yeah, so there you have it. That is the end of this haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you have. Let me know if you have read any of these books or if you're excited for some of these books. Let me know any comments in the box below and we will chat about it. Yeah, man. I hope you are cool. Have a fantastic day and I will see you guys soon.